Please note that I do not own any of the rights to this movie or the music of the movie in this video. This video is for entertainment purposes only and is not intended to infringe on any copyrights. Most of the scenes have been muted and blurred. Oh yes, also, this video will contain spoilers for the movie I'm reacting to. If you have not seen the movie yet, rather do that first and then come back to this video. Away. Hello and welcome to another rendition, installment and episode of Jovi Reacts. Today we're just going to be continuing with the Hunger Games series. This one is The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. Yes, Part 1 was hectic. They got Peter back from the capital. Um, he was brainwashed. He tried to take Cat Nepo out of the game. You know, strangled and whatever blood vessels burst in her eyes. Um, so this is just a continuation from where we left off. If you haven't seen my reaction for Mockingjay Part 1, please go check that out before this one so that you can actually see what's happening and what's going on and that you're up to date with me as well. But uh, let's not waste any more time than we already have. And let's get straight into The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. Here we go. Yeah. A neck was demolished by Peter. Remember, Peter can throw anything over 100 okay, I pounds. Know, I know. I'm sorry. So, I know it's um, the grip must be strong. Oh, get okay, Nepo, don't do it. You've got a lot of swelling in your vocal cords. Ooh, don't do it, get Neeps. Hi. They're strangers to him, so we're going to test his response on someone he remembers from home. Who could he trust more than get Neeps? Send her in. Oh? Primrose Everdeen. My family hasn't come to see me. Oh, you're a Peter. If only you knew. There was an attack on 12. Yes. Oh, Peter's hearing the voices in his head. Madness. She's a liar, Prim. It's a trick. Yeah. What you're saying isn't real. You can't trust her! She's a monster! She's a mutt! The capital grade! The... Oh! No! This is just a conditioned response. Hey, 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 hey. They now have to decondition. Is it decondition? Or recondition him? To understand that this is actually the real world and the capital was just feeding him lies and, and, and propaganda and all these things. They have to recondition him and, and, and change his mind and shift his paradigm. <laughs> Snow has to pay for what he's done. I want to help the rebels in any way I can. It's hard to see Peter this way. That's not Peter. You want me to fire up our troops? Call out to the loyalists so you've seen what I can do. Katniss know that she knows that she's just being used. She's a tool. But I also see that she wants to try and use her influence and sway to change the world. Yo, Cat Nipo has a heart of gold. I don't stand a chance if he doesn't get better. Oh, you're a girl. All girl can think about is fraying. That's all he can think about. The world is coming to an end, girl. People have died. Thousands. Thousands of people have died. And here you are thinking about how, how can I fray with Cactus Everdeen? Get your mind in the game. I don't think Snow used any rule book when he hijacked Peter. Does Cactus want to fight this war without people dying? There are definitely going to be some casualties. Definitely. Added to you for the reinforcements and the marking, Jay. Well, but I'm not sure that Brienne anyone outside of two knows what we've been up against. One this of my is favorites. The, the capital. This isn't like the rest of Pan Am. Support for the capital runs deep here. I wonder what District Two um, provides the capital. You could design the bomb targets and sequence using seismic data. Trigger avalanches. Block all exits, cut off their supplies. You make it impossible. BT is a genius. Look at that. He's going to create some sort of device that can start an avalanche and, and rock slides, whatever, and destroy this fort or flush out the people in this fort. 
use one of the supply tunnels for the evacuees. Genius of luxury Genius. we weren't given when they fired Montois. Even if those civilians are just mopping floors, they're helping the enemy. And if they have to die, I can live with that. Wow, Gail. Gail is a killer. So you might want to experiment with a little sensitivity and warmth. Make it quick, you're exposed. Is this some sort of strong old, no? This is Katniss Everdeen, speaking to all of the loyalists from the heart of District 2. Survivors, hit it! Katniss, you can't just want to go run in the... Oh, you see? Drop you it! You see, Katniss? We blew up your mind. You burned my district to the ground. I'm tired of killing his slaves for him. Well, she persuaded him quick fast. But is it truth that she's saying? Their enemy is snow. It's not, it's not each other. It's not the different districts. These people are not your enemy. We all have one enemy. And that's snow. I was jerk at Nipo's like I wrote your script. He turns the best of us against each other. Turn your weapons to snow. snow. What free Mason meeting is this that snow is hosting? What did we celebrate? Death of the Mockingjay, sir. Knowing that Snow is a venomous guy, would you willingly drink anything at this table? Let me know in the comments. I'm afraid that is not what we were toasting at all, sir. Lure them into the city, and then our game makers will make them pay for every inch with blood. Look at what this red bastard. Coriolanus Snow is doing. He's gonna make this war a Hunger Games. This guy is addicted to suffering and torture and killing people. This is what this man likes. He thrives off of these things and, and he's insane. Oh, well, there she is. Oh, wow, Joanna. The Mocking Jay. What about you, Mocking Jay? You feeling totally safe? Until I got shot. Even in his death, Sinner's looking after. Cat Neeps. Yeah. Still heartbroken about his death, eh? Hey. You should have been the mocking Jay. Nobody has to tell you what to say. But nobody likes me. Yo, Joanna has a liquor hit, ne? Look at its son on the back. They messed us up pretty good, didn't they? You can say that again, Joanna. You We should look terrible. You've looked better. You're not remotely nice to say that to me now. I was never the nice one. You were. Touche. All I know is that I would have saved myself a lot of suffering if I had just given that bread to the pig. Yo, Peter, you're cutting me deep, eh? You're cutting me deep, Peter? Saying these words to get neeps? The, the, they are harsh, man. They are harsh. Showing them that you're alive. I should be with the truth. Also, like a side note, this guy, Philip Seymour Hoffman, right? He, he passed away. Um before the release of this movie. So it's only, he's only gonna be partially in it and I think they CGI him in somewhere near the end. I promise to love and cherish I, If he's that, I'm looking nice, man. Hi, congratulations, Finnick. I'm just happy that if he was able to get the dangers as a, a clothing and a makeup and stuff, because, wow, she was looking dreary and drabby. Nothing good is safe while he's alive. Look here, I agree with you, Katniss. I will never condone violence and murder. But in this case, take the trash out. That's all I'm saying. Now you're talking. Joanna loves this. <laughs> Find a way to the capital when everybody's... Don't you want Snow to see you dance? Is Katniss going to do the rubber dance now? Hey, hey, hey. What kind of dancing is this? He was just walking around and... Is he really dancing? Now grab your partner, do si do It's kind of like that. No, what about line dancing? Or like the people around town would say, lime dancing. What is the plan here, Cat Nepo? What is the, what is the plan? Can she fly? I don't think she can fly. Oh, she's finding a ride. I see. Wait a minute, is, is this outside the, the capital? There's too many people there, obviously gonna recognize her. 
And in true Cat Depot fashion, she has she doesn't even make any sort of attempt to hide her face. Look at them. Let the people see you, Cat Nepo. Need to know that the Mockingjay is still alive and well. All the time when the salute is thrown up, you have to throw up the salute as well. Because, hey. Hi, Yara Kyle. Thought you were in the hospital. And whatever she's doing, we conceived it. It was our plan all along. You see now? Remember in the last movie I said I have this feeling about President Coin. She's confirming this feeling for me now. I'm Commander Paler of District 8. I'm a soldier like all of you, so here's what I know. President Snow has pulled back peacekeepers to fortify the center of the city. We're deploying medical brigades to help anyone in need. We'll show the capital people who we are. Wait a minute. But I'm in the medical brigade. And lethal devices called pods. The sadistic inventions of game makers meant to make sport of our deaths. Our future starts tomorrow at dawn, when we march together into the capital. Commander Paila speaks well, no? Like, really? She speaks well? Not as charismatic as I would like it to be, but she got the message across. Hawthorne, Aberdeen. Come meet your new unit. Finnick? Are you with us? Looks like it. That's a short honeymoon. Very short honeymoon. But I guess he couldn't stand back and just let Cat Depot have all the fun. You're considered high value targets to the capital. In the event of capture, you'll be given a nightlock pill. It's because of, of Katniss that they're not fighting. That's why she wanted to go by herself, I guess, but... It has a self-destruct on it. You flip this switch, say Nightlock three times, and it blows itself in anything within a 10-foot radius. So this is really like the games, again. Welcome to the 76th Hunger Games. Oh no, funny. Looks like I don't your script as well, my man. So this is the capital, or the outer ring of the capital. Outer blocks, they call it, yeah. Let's see what these pods can do. Shoot the dogs try and... Okay, let's see what the pods do. Okay, I see. These pods are messed up. Quite violent. So it looks like you have to trigger these pods in order for it to like disable itself. It has to do its thing. Well, if it isn't Peter Malak, Jackson Coffin. Well, wait, why did they bring him here? Why did they bring him here if they just gonna him? This was a stupid decision, and I think it was Coin's deci uh, decision to put him in there. And if it really came down to it, you think you could shoot him? I wouldn't be shooting Peter. I'd be killing a capital nut. She's had enough of Peter's nonsense. It was Peter that she wanted rescued from the arena. She never liked you. She doesn't like anybody or anything she can't control. Maybe she's starting to see you as a threat. Because she could become the, the, the ruler, you see? I knew it from day one. President Coin, just like President Snow, is a red bastard. Yeah, I'll, I'll add that to the list of words I usually try to figure you out. It's good that they're talking, though. And I'm also glad that Peter picked up some weight. He darling has a little bit of cheek. What's real? And what's made up anymore? Then ask. Your favorite color is green. Is that real? Yes. And yours is orange. Like a sunset orange. Yours is orange. Soft, like the sunset. Man. It's all coming back, it's all coming back to me now. That's exactly right. That is the beat that we know. It's only for the problem. They can't even Let's trust move. him with a loaded gun. We're headed five blocks. This place is too closed. 
Got a pod. I don't trust these pods. Split take cover. I don't trust these pods at all because uh, after seeing what one of those pods can do, and now they're in enclosed space. All clear. Gail, Holmes with me. Leagues, take the wings. Hey, this is causing some uh, PTSD for, for, for Peter here. Were they ever once, do they never use guns and stuff in the Hunger Games, right? They use like arrows, weapons, spears, but not. Oh. Don't trust them. Kill Peter if you have to. Oh my word, he was always on his side. Oh. This place is booby trapped, I knew it. Oh, it's too close. Look at it now. I hear Peter. Look at look what Peter's doing. Wait, this is some madness. How much is this tar or oil? What is tar? I, I just knew. I just knew that this place was too enclosed for anything nice to happen here. She's telling the truth. Plutarch wants it televised. He thinks if we can film the mocking Jay assassinating Snow, it'll make the capital surrender before the casualties. Well done, Grisida. Or like they say, Cressida. I'll stay with her. As soon as we make contact, we will send somebody back, I promise you. My thing is, I'm sure in the capital they have, um, when these pods get triggered, I'm sure that they also get the message to say, look, if this pod was just triggered now, um, send people there. There could be peacekeepers coming as well. I mean, that's what I would have done if I was running the city. Yep, the peacekeepers. I'm sure they have that um, kind of what's the name in the capital. Every time a pod goes off the edge. Oh no. Oh no. Today, as our peacekeepers valiantly hold off the rebels. Hmm. Clearly, some alliances don't last forever. You are about to witness a great victory, not only for the capital, but for Penham. Oh, oh, wait, this will actually work in her favor. Because they believe that they killed her main sinners now in this, uh, in this explosion. So, hmm, this gives her the element of surprise. Yeah. So now that we're dead, what are we going to do? Isn't it obvious? The next move is to kill me. If it gets to that point, I'll kill you myself. Gail, look at you, always trying to be the hero. You, just relax. Your soldiers are at each other's throats. <laughs> In Snow's Beck. I have interrupted a broadcast from your president in which he attempted to defame a brave young woman. Picked from the masses, he called her. Plucked. As if a He's so correcting her. <laughs> and in her memory, we will all find the strength to rid Panem of its oppressors. Nobody knows we're alive. This is our chance. Yeah, these they have an element of surprise. Please look over Snow's Gardens. Looks like the underground is a bit dangerous as well, eh? Because um, obviously the capital's men are still using it. I'm talking about the soldiers, the peacekeepers and that. And the tradesmen, women. They're still using these underground tunnels. So, it's not completely safe, but I'm sure it's safe of pods. Because the pods seem to be the main danger. They survived. I don't know how. We picked them up on a surveillance cam. Let me see. I, I need to see for myself. Yo, Coriolanus's anus is doing this. Because why? She is the thorn in his side. <laughs> The arena has moved underground. Can you just tell me, what is Snow's obsession with these games? What is his obsession? He just wants people to play this game of life and death. What is his obsession? If you know, please let me know in the comments so that I can know as well. Oh, Peter's coming back You're slowly. Trying to protect me. Real or not real? 
Ah, uh, huh? Gail could never, huh? Gail could never be Peter. Never ever. Ah, go sleep. Why is Gail awake? Gail should be sleeping and resting. <laughs> Who else is in the tunnels besides Cactus in this group? The 451. So I take it Matzo like people that have been brainwashed and would do anything for the capital. Even risk their lives. I was way off. Well, she's been calling Peter a mutt for some time now. It's too quiet down here. Way too quiet. I don't think. I oh my god, what the hell are these things? My thing is, how do they create these, these, uh, these mutts? Because these things don't have eyes. Oh, <laughs> Yo, this is an intense scene. It's intense. There's so much happening. <laughs> oh, baby! Oh, 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 my word. The only thing that could help them, the hollow, is now destroyed. Look at me! Look at me! Oh my word, what is girl gonna say? Show me girl's face now! Stay with me! Show me girl's face! Oh, I... Come on! Oh, Peter's words! Ah! Oh. I don't know what to say! This has been an intense couple of minutes! Tigress, do you remember me? I'm with Plutarch's underground. We need your help. Clear. We'll learn more about her in the next one. In essence, she's an Effie of yesteryear. Mm. I know you. You were a stylist in the games. Until Snow decided I wasn't pretty enough anymore. Do you really believe that Jackson thought you had orders from Coin? She trusted Boggs and he clearly wanted you to go on. Boggs, Boggs was really on his side. He was really, truly on his side. You should cough me. It's not safe with me yet. At least he's admitting, you know, that this is what he feels. It's good. So that he can at least know where his mind, his mind is at. And he was asking to be cuffed, hey. By all means, Papa, cuff him. Mortar shells. It's not ours. To all capital citizens more than a half mile outside the city circle, I am announcing a mandatory evacuation, and you will have my solemn oath to protect you until my dying breath. We should hurry up with that last part. Our enemy is not like us. Snow's offering shelter to all the refugees. That's a lot of people. They can basically blend in. Then give me a night lock pill, okay? I'm not going back. What? All he wants to do is just die. So angry at Gail. This whole series so far, I'm angry at Gail. They must just blend in. That's all they have to do. As long as they blend in, they should be fine until they reach the mansion. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you coming to the tree? She recognized you. Yo. Yo. I will be on my nerves. Let me just tell you. It disguises me nothing now. Don't turn back! Perfect. This is a distraction. You have to complete your mission. Complete it. Come on, get me. The children will be received first. I don't trust this. I don't trust this. Why are the children taken first? Why don't you take the mothers and children first then? If that's the case, why would we remove the child from the mother? Huh? I don't like this, what you're doing, Snow. <laughs> My word. I knew not to trust Coriolanus. This was all just... Run, run. 
What are you doing, you prune? Oh my word! Oh no! What are you doing there, Prum? Peacekeepers, palace guards, they had kids in there too. Remember the first time I brought you here? And here we are. So now that snow has been eradicated from the, the palace, it looks like District 13 has taken over. And Katniss has now moved in to the mansion. I wouldn't feel right, to be honest. I wouldn't feel right living here where the person that's given me so much grief, so much drama. I wouldn't feel right living in their house, you know, where they lived for many a decade. That's a nice one. The colors are lovely, of course. Why is he being so cordial and friendly? First things first. <coughs> I wanted to tell you how very sorry I am about your sister. Oh my word, Snow, just shut your dirty mouth. You released those parachutes. You really think I gave the order? I take life for specific reasons. And there was no reason for me to destroy a pen full of capital children. So what is what is Snow saying? That it must have been coin. I must concede it was a masterful move on Coin's part. My failure was in being so slow to grasp Coin's plan. She let the capital and the districts destroy one another. Wait a minute, man. Look, like I've said, I already felt that Coin. There was just something off with her. But to do something like this, that kind of makes it worse than snow. I don't believe you. I thought we'd agreed never to lie to each other. Okay. One thing about snow, he kept his word, eh? He's been honest with us since the get-go. President Coin asked for you. You never came to see me. I don't know. All I know is... It was his idea. No, I was supposed to take like care of The execution, family. I don't think, was him. I think that was that was going to have a capital a capital jet, the Hunger Games style little uh, what's the name parachutes that drop down. I don't think the execution was him. The idea was him, but the execution was going. Goodbye, Gail. Oh, thank you, thank you so much for saying those words, Katniss. You have no idea how much that. What you just said now, how much that means to me. Because you know what? From the first movie, I have been upset with you and Gail. I've been upset that Gail is in your life. Now for you saying goodbye to him. You have liberated me as well. You have liberated me. I have invited you all here for several reasons. But first, I have an announcement. I have taken the burden and the honor of declaring myself interim president of Penem. Burden. Burden. The proposal is this. In lieu of these barbaric executions, we hold a symbolic Hunger Games. What? <laughs> this is a stupid idea. Is this Plutarch's idea? I get to kill Snow. I expected no less of you. Wait, are you saying yes, Cat Nepo? The symbolic Hunger Games, are you saying yes to that? Then I vote yes. No! He's gonna vote with Katniss. I'm with the Marking J. Quite the show. Wow, Effie, what are you wearing, girl? Ooh! Cat Neeps! I love it when they do a makeup like this. Oh, oh, oh. Finishing touches. Wait a minute, this is most the arena you know, that they always do the chariot thing. From what I remember, it's a long stretch. Where is she walking from? She's walking from the other side. Marking J. May your aim be as true 
as your heart is pure. This coin is a rubbish. Snow is a rubbish. Coin is a rubbish. All presidents are rubbishes. Oh! Okay. She was gonna kill herself. There's a CGI part I told you about. So she took a coin that was going to bring back a symbolic hunger games and the people got their, their, their thirst for blood satisfied by the mob justice act that they did on, on, on Snow. I'm so glad he's out of the game also. Yara, I did it. I'll read it for you. Katniss. Maybe the country was shocked tonight by your arrow, but once again, I was not. The war's over. We'll enter that sweet period where everyone agrees not to repeat the recent horrors. I've secured you a ride out of the capital. It's better for you to be out of sight. And when the time is right, Commander Paler will pardon you. I couldn't let you go without a proper goodbye. If he's looking nice. Is home really home though in this like she's alone? Where's her mother? You need to look after this cat cat Nepo. She's gone. No. You need to look after this cat cat Nepo. She's dead! And she's not coming back! Get out! Get out! She almost threw the cat for real. Did you see that? Oh. Wasn't it nice hunting without Kyle? Huh? Knowing that you kill is not gonna be run away and get scared? Huh, Cat Nepo? Hi, Anna. So relieving him. Mm. I'm happy he came back. You'll be happy to hear that Candace's mother has been training new medical units in the capital. Gail has been promoted to a captain in District 2 to help keep order and security. I hope you're both finding some peace. Manny. And uphold the rights of every citizen at Penny. Well done, Baylor. There's Plutarch around the middle of President all. Baylor. I'm kind of happy that Katniss has a peaceful life now. She's probably going to get pardoned soon now that President Baylor is a president. <laughs> so, my life's finally, finally going to start. That makes me happy. You love me. Real or not real. That's real. Real. Ah. Oh. They started a family together. It's like a game. And the baby's looking I deep into Jennifer's eyes, eh? Right? I'm glad they started a family. Ah, people. People, people, people. There we go. And there we have it. That was the Hunger Games Mocking Jay Part 2. And let me tell you one thing. They ended off this one very nicely. The whole series, that's actually the end of the series, but there's one more that's the prequel, right? Uh where we actually see we, we actually see we actually see Snow's story from when it started. When the Hunger Games are probably like 10, 15 games in only. So, yeah, that's the one I'm doing next. But this one, man, Cat Nepo did the things. That's the last we're going to see of Cat Nepo and Peter and Kyle. But um, tell me what you think about this movie or the whole series so far. Tell me what you think about it in the comments. I'd like to hear what your opinions are. And maybe it's the same like mine. Maybe it's not. But... This movie was really, really well done. The series, actually, from the first one all the way up until Mockin' J Part 2 was good. But stay tuned, because next week at Friday, yeah, next week Friday, the 29th of March, we will see the prequel to this whole thing. So stick around. Subscribe to the channel so you know what's coming up. And uh, yeah, like this video, guys. It really helps me out and the channel out and you know joining the algorithm and all this stuff because i would like this channel to grow 
Like I said, guys, please subscribe to the channel. I would like to be, reach at least a thousand subs by the end of the year. And I can only do that if you guys help me out. But yeah, guys, stick around. Next week, Friday, it's coming. It's the prequel to The Hunger Games. Uh, I call it The Hunger Games Snakes on a Plane. But it's something to do with snakes and sparrows. Songbirds and snakes. I think that's the one it's called. But yeah, stick around. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. It's coming next Friday. And I guess I'll see you guys next Friday. <laughs>